Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry 3. I love doing that so much. I love that so goddamn much. Alright. So yeah, we're doing one of the classic no gear levels. A level in a video game in which you have no gear. That must be where he took the warriors. Okay. Cabo Blanco's fish and fish. Fried s fresh smoke and fried. This guy is a quiet sniper. So let's see if we can't handle him first, you know? Stealthinate our way over there. See, he got distracted just a little bit, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah, this game loves giving you guns. Oh, man, that's painful. Right in the liver, dude? Ow. Oh, okay. We're good. You know that had to have hurt like a motherfucker. Okay, that guy's over there. Examining one of my kills. I'm nowhere. I'm the knight, I am the wind, stealth, etc. Yada yada, you know. You know the deal. Throw a rock. Interesting, Interesting he says. Turning around right on cue. What do I not want? I don't want this. So why not we just, why don't we do that, huh? Hold on, I'll, I'll be right with you, Chopper, I promise. I just really want to stab this guy. Wait, no one heard me, right? Like, no one saw me. That should be impossible. He didn't have a chance to raise an alarm. This is a pretty good track. Grab one of those, huh? Why don't we just do that, just because... Who's revving their engine? I mean, maybe there's a little time to lose. Oh man, that's a heavy and everything. Fuck, dude. Bump it, Jason. Fuck. Oh man, are you serious? Okay, well. How about we do this a different way? No fucking way is he taking those warriors. I, I never know how common Rocky Otter are meant to actually be. Like, are they super common? Are they rare? Are they unique? Like, wh what's the deal with them, you know? Tag enemies? Not a chance, man. Oh, right. I have none of that armor, huh? I can't believe there's not a checkpoint. 
I, I am starved for checkpoints here. This is painful. This is a really weak attempt to kill a guy, by the way. No fucking way is he taking those warriors. No fucking way, says Jason Brody. They all fit in one chopper? What? I totally should have gotten that guy. That's baloney, I say. Frankly, I do really like uh, the, the trope of video games where landing on someone, as long as you do it sword first, will cancel all momentum. Yeah, why not? I don't need the XP. That must be where he took the warriors. The warriors. I don't want to play it slow. If I play it slow and fuck up once, I get put back so far. I don't want to do this slowly. I just want to... Like, dude... Essentially forced cell sections. Unskippable cutscenes. An awful checkpoint. Like, these are the hallmarks of bad games in the tw in the new tents, you know? If a video game had problems, it was so, so likely that it would be one of those. And I'm, I'm running into all of them here. Like, normally this game is perfectly fine. It's serviceable. In many cases, it's great, good fun, you know? Man, it is really extreme that he gets stabbed right in the uh, in the liver. Like that's a super place, painful place to get stabbed. Apparently, more so than usual. I mean, nope. I refuse to believe that a pirate who is so methed out on his mind that he thinks charging a man who can kill a tiger with a shotgun is a good idea. I refuse to believe that that guy is good enough to shoot a Jason Brody out of midair with a pistol. Or whatever it is he actually had. It could be he had a real gun. You know, a lot of my fuck up has come from the fact that I've been doing this the whole time. Yeah, loot that nothing. What if I go around here and not that way? Because, yeah, he turns around. And that's that problem solved right there. The chopper. That must be where he took the warriors. The warriors. I love that movie. All right. I'm getting all I'm getting silent, you can hear. You can hear me getting silent and going all try hard mode on this game. And yeah, I am. I'm getting extremely try hardy. Cuz like I try to do it fast and that just doesn't work. Is that a body? Is that a body? Oh, 
Okay, and then up here there was another rocket launcher and a medikit. Does flipping that do anything? Z. That's the button I need. All right. Now maybe this time. Oh, I know. If I back away and take the long way around, because I could have knifed that guy, but that would have given him away in my position. So maybe if I go around this way, take out that guy from up there. Oh, I've still got that fucking heavy to worry about. That's such a problem. Yep, I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere. Ignore me. Ignore me. Ignore me. Nice. Nice and nice to Jason. Actually, wait. That's not a problem. I just realized the heavy is not a problem. Oh my god! I'm blowing out my microphone. This is horrible. Like, this level is exhausting. I did this to myself. Like, I'm doing this to me because I wanted to play this game on the hardest difficulty. Because, in my own words, possibly to myself, I don't know if I even ever told anyone this, I think this game gets too easy at a certain point. Because, as I mentioned in discussing the concept of a uh, level where the player is stripped of their gear, at a certain point, you have so much loot and goodies that, like, difficulty is really, really hard to balance. And, like, I have so much good shit in my inventory now. Oh, that, that's, that's irrelevant. All I want is the RPG. At this point, I have so much goody, good shit in my inventory that the only way to cripple my character in any meaningful way, long term, is to take it away. Because I have too much powerful gear. I, I have too strong of a character, you know? Now, inherent bonus is like the tattoo. Sorry, I've been, I know I've been all over uh, the place on my pronunciation of that word. Tattoo. But my inherent bonus is like that, like... Those can't go away. I can't lose those. Why is he wearing a mask? Are Voss's men, like, not anti-vaxxers? That's kind of crazy, I think. Yeah, let's put that on, why don't we? Still crouched, still stealthing. Stay quiet. No time to lose. How much time do we have to lose, actually, Jason? Warrior Rescue Service. Okay, they're looking right at me, but luckily my blue shirt covers me. Okay. And if I hit a guy, if I hit that guy with a knife, like a knife knife, like just the actual like Q melee attack, that will cause noise. Whereas this is quiet. What am I supposed to do here? Reach the chopper. Just, just get to it. Am I supposed to stealth all, all the way over there? Because I can do that. Oh, that isn't what I'm supposed to do. Ha ha, fuck you. Reload the gun. That guy just had a really bad day, you know? Oh yeah, I'm sure that this one guy with a single sniper rifle is going to stop me. Okay, okay. 
What? What's happening? I don't have control of this. I can shoot, but I can't do anything else. Okay. Hey, I reached a checkpoint, though. Can't wait to start this one with no health. Because remember, as we've discussed and learned, this game is not above, like, make, forcing your character, in fact, forcing your character to play through a really, really hard section without any health. And it will shoot you in a cutscene. Probably should turn this up. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? We get it. You have a shtick. You like your shtick. <sighs> what a hassle. Guys, have you ever heard of Alice in Wonderland? Also, it bears mentioning that the actual definition of insanity is a boring, dry DSM definition. And the thing that Voss says is a paraphrased quote from Albert Einstein, who is not, this may really shock you guys, he's not a psychologist. really goopy down here. All right. Now, you may ask, how the hell did we survive getting shot in the chest at point blank range? He's come back from the dead! Damn straight I have. Dennis. Jason! Oh, Dennis. How is this possible? Dumb luck. <laughs> so, uh, you guys remember who put that in our pocket? Luck favors you, my friend. Don't point Who's with the gun, dude. Trigger this? safety. Pass. In celebration of your death. But it was more of a show for Hoyt. I'm so, yeah, he somehow didn't forget. check that I was breathing. Tell Citra. Okay, I will tell her right now. But yeah, Voss somehow fucked himself. I've got to get my stuff back from those pirates. Where am I? There shouldn't even be pirates here. <laughs> To be honest. Like, there shouldn't be any pirates right here, you know? I have already cleared this area out. Oh, and I can't... I can't get the camera out. Oh, you're a friend. Huh. All right, fine. Doing this old style. Come on. Mm. This is bad, man. I've got to get my stuff back from those pirates. Do you have to, dude? Couldn't you go to any one of these? Ugh. 
Like, couldn't you just buy it back from them? Oh, that'll help. Like, ask Dennis for 30 bucks. Or no, you don't even have to ask. All those guns are free oh now. God. Like, they'll just give... They'll just give you the gun. If you go to a store and ask if you, if they have this one in shop, in stock, they'll just give it to you. Because I did all those fucking towers. Jason places it right at his feet, which I kind of don't like. I wish he would place it a little further away. Shit. That's so just a guy doing a voice. Nope. When I find you, I'm gonna cut you. Oh, they don't seem to notice me through here. Let's go around this way, huh? Can't be seen. When I find you, Maybe it'll be more fun if I headcanon that I'm on a mission to change the past. And so I can't be seen because that makes irrevocably damaging the time stream. Okay. As long as people don't see it, that's fun. Oh boy, dude. Dude, you're not getting any... I don't know how to tell you this, man, but you're not getting me. You're just throwing Molotovs at buildings. You're not making any headway. Fuck you, dog. I will take your skin. Just because I... Just because fuck you, you know? Oh. I'm starting to freak out. Alright, let's loot some bodies. I'm not gonna find anything useful, because why would I? And I don't have the heavy takedown yet, so I'm gonna either have to get fancy on this guy with a knife, or get fancy on him with C4. Hey, okay, you know, in the words of Adam Savage, and possibly Jamie Heineman, um, when in doubt, C4. Flare gun called a signal pistol. Yada yada yada, yada yada yada. A gun that I've never used before, but now that I have one, I think I can mark targets with it. So I've got a plan. Well, I got him. Well, he only had four whole dollars on him. They, they took my guns, but they didn't take my cell phone? They even took my camera. Oh, God. There we go. Dennis, talk to me, baby. I must warn you. Vas is a mighty warrior. But Hoyt is like a demon. Many of the Rakiat have attacked his island. None have returned. One at a time, Dennis. First Voss, then Hoyt. What you are telling me is not possible. I could not even do it. What was that saying, Dennis? There's a first time for everything. You want a challenge? Mm. Big words. But the doctor tells me your boat is almost ready. You would be leaving soon. So yeah, we're gonna hop on to the other uh, fucking island. But first, um, also, I don't 
don't know if I have to do the island challenge thingies. I hope I don't, because that sounds pretty stupid. Um, like, I don't think I have to, like, play poker and shit. If I do, I'm going to be pretty pissed, because I don't even like playing poker in the real world. Oh, God, I've also just noticed my sound has been maxed for the last uh, few segments. Luckily, my salt makes it so that it's pretty easy to hear me. What the hell? There it is. What if they could have made the, uh, the thing, you know, yellow instead of... I mean, uh, uh red instead of yellow. Because it doesn't stand out very well against all the yellow and green in the jungle, you know? Forest and the tan and the beige and the... All that shit. What's up, guys? Okay, I'll just go around, I guess. Hello, bro. I like how these Rakat warriors are, like, clearly have a marked difference. Like, they're temple guards instead of whatever guards. Leave us. The warrior returns from the land of the dead. Brought you a souvenir. That was a really implausible catch. I will do my sexy island butt jiggle now. The issue that she does not have a tatao. She has uh, what appears to be a mandala. And she has a little uh, a little strap on her chin and she has stuff going down her side. But she doesn't have a proper tatao. Although, like Jason, she is... Or, I mean, like all the other characters, she is a counterpart to Jason, you know? You can even start to read some Jungian psychology into this, but I'm going to have to brush up on what the hell that actually is before I do that. Alright, so we uh, cracked ourselves out. And we're here now. We're at the temple, but it is burning. And uh, the smoke monster from Lost. So yeah, sense has been clouded by others, yada yada yada. You're from America, America's fucked you up. You're supposed to be an island warrior. Like, it's, on the one hand, you could argue that this is even more out of place than the, like, Chinese super base. But I love this. Damn straight I am. Lighten this dude up. So you can hear her start to get a little, uh... From the Northern Kingdom. Know, orgasmic, I guess? Jeez, man. I'm not psyched about having to do this one again. Oh boy. Oh man. You know what I love? Unskippable cutscene. And I have to do it with a bow, of course. It's the only way. Your senses can cloud in your eyes. You walk their paths instead of your own senses. But I can feel the fire in you. What the hell is that thing? Oh man. Come on, smoke monster, let's party. I feel like the fact that you have to fight it with a bow makes sense. Because it's like, oh, it's an island weapon, you know? I feel like that kind of disintegrates considering that it's very clearly like this American-made fucking fast pro shop ass fucking carbon fiber fucking bow. Yeah. 
Where am I shooting here, bro? Guys? That makes sense, right? Okay. What are you? From the northern kingdom. Heard of the giant and vowed to slay him. Being fought down on his body. To power from the land. And when he was ready, he walked the path of the lotus. So you can see that these are very clearly just the uh, the, the, the machete guys from earlier, but they've been they've had this mass texture put on their face because like, hey, we're not going to make this texture not use it. And they don't do a whole bunch of your health bar. They do a chunk of it, but not like a crazy amount. The Ink Monster's design is kind of dope, to be perfectly frank with you. Oh, man. Oh, man, come on! There wasn't anything I could do! Right, we're turning this down. <sighs> you know what? I will cut right here. I will. Hey, and we're back. So yeah, fight is simpler than I thought. Apparently the, um, in the code, those little, uh, little machete men. Those are called uh, Jason Beheaders or Ink Minions. And as it happens, for some reason, I still have access to my entire inventory besides my weapons. So I just made myself 50 syringes. So you can hear Citra moaning getting hot and shit. You can also hear Lisa trying to stop you or something. And the warrior raised his gun. He cut the giant's head clean off his body. The skull of the giant fell to earth and became a eye. Yeah, use that big knife, son. Yeah, stab that big eye of Sauron. Okay, I had to I had to brush that up there. Sorry. Uh, Cause yeah, you can see in this cutscene you can see Citra's bare chest and her nipples have paint on them. But um, look. Tell me who I am. Not worth the risk. Also, um, she's very clearly like on top of Jason and like moaning and bouncing up and down on him. Now they're like holding hands and shit. Um, yeah, it's super not clear about what's happening. You I mean, you live for oh shit! Yeah, that's totally her nip right there. So yeah, um, possibly. Like, having sex with Citra is like a thing with entering into the Rakyat. So yeah, it's not clear what's going on there, because like the the shark, not the shark, sorry, the ink monster might exist or might not. I'm coming for you, boss. But um, yeah, Citra's totally having sex with us there. Like, can we talk about that for a second? Citra's absolutely having sex with Jason at that point. Um, now you could say, well, Jason consented. We just didn't see it. Um, he was, uh, he was on drugs, man. Like, 
if if you got someone drunk and then asked them to have sex with you, no matter what their answer was, that's not cool. Citra is Citra is raping Jason there. Like, let's be honest. Citra is absolutely having non-consensual sex with Jason. And like the 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 way that he like touches her afterward, like you could argue that like, yeah, maybe it's supposed to be cute. But no matter if Jason wanted to do it, she didn't ask him beforehand. So yeah, um uh Jason has been um he's been had, you know, in a in a way forcible. This is something of a strange point for him because he doesn't call Citra out on this. He doesn't even bring it up. But yeah, and it's not clear what the actual ink monster deal is. Like, what's up with that is... That's a whole thing, you know? Um, that could just be a weird drug dream that Jason is having. It could be an actual monster that comes to attack the subconscious mind of Rakyat warriors when they're going through their initiation trial. I'm not sure if all of them involve having sex with Citra. Like, has Citra had sex with every member of the Rakyat? It's clear that she's taken a liking to Jason, you know? She's got a real shine for him. Oh, come on. Are you stupid? Are you serious, dude? It's not him you gotta worry about. Or what? You want him for yourself or something? Are these guys serious? Like, Jason's reputation at this point is ironclad. Like... Have they actually not heard of him? You just had to shoot your gun, dude. And the thing is, no matter how many times Jason dies, Jason will come back. That's the whole thing. That's the nature of his character. Because the Tatao marks him as the person in this video game. And so he is the one, you know, that this video game is about. He's the one that the video game will resurrect. Jason will come back, you know? <laughs> I just choked on my saliva. Pardon me, everyone. Jesus. You know, if I die, at least it'll be on camera. I think what I want. <laughs> Dickheads. There you go. There you go. And there's some doguloids up there. I'm really thinking about getting that bow back in my arsenal. <laughs> Any chance I can quick travel, actually? Also, notice that somehow we're on the north tip of this island, despite the fact that Citra's, uh... Yeah, Citra's crib is... Yep, south side of the island. Fucking God damn it. So yeah, the bow is a unique weapon, so it's impossible to pick it up anywhere else in the game. Jesus. Like, you only get the flare gun in that one specific instance. Come on, bring it on. Jason lowered his gun because of the woman, and like, go trigger safety, Jace, but also, we gotta kill these dogs, dude. You're really underestimating how annoying a dog can be. Imagine that your job is that you're a sniper. 
you know, it's it's your name. It's essentially your class. And then some kid with a gun who has never picked up a gun before this week comes along and blows your head open with a better sniper rifle than yours. Like, at this point, I feel like the reason Voss isn't paying to give his men upgraded guns is because all that would do is just give better weapons to Jason. Boogie. Actually, let me turn this down just a little bit more. Oh boy. I love how these Rocky, uh, not Rocky, I love the pirates are like, yeah, I could totally take Jason. You know, I could, I could kill 50 Jasons in like a day. You know, you gave me a week for this island out of wreck yacht. Like, Jason literally came back from the dead like a minute ago. Oh God. Is a tiger in here, Voss? I'm thinking that that's not a good place for a mine. Now, if only I could see where I put it. There it is. Well, I guess I'm not getting it back. So yes, shit has more or less officially gotten real. You really seem torn up about your sister, man. Like, in, in the case of, like, a Jason Brody appearing on your island, like, what are you gonna do? Stop using guns? I think those are the loading screen works. Some of them, at least. How high is this dude? He's like, is that Jason? I'm not entirely sure. Fuck, dude. <clears throat> Better not have to do that cutscene again. Probably will, though. Ring a ding ding. The second motherfucker will get five grand. Like, he's just the first motherfucker to bring him Jason's nuts, as though there will be a second pair of nuts available. Dude, come on, man. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thanks, Tiger-sama. Toda. Alright. Actually... Why be subtle at this point? You know? It's not like we're here for the subtlety. Oh, 
Oh man, it's really chugging. Yeah, bring up that dubstep. The kids love it. I hate missing out on the uh, the takedown. It's so satisfying every time. That is a fast firing gun, man. Your movement speed slows to this is a, this is a really this is exactly what I would have wanted from a gun like this, you know. Excuse me, gentlemen. Just gonna hunker here. Voss is saying this, but, like, Jason clearly does. He's killed, like, a thousand people at this point. He has more Tatao than Voss has ever had. It's really chugging. And, like, in the, in the ways of the Rock Yacht, yes, he is literally a warrior. That is the rules. Like, according to the Rocky Out rules, yes, he is a warrior. Peekaboo. And now the game is just giving you, like, healing shit in case you don't have your own. Oh, man, dude. You know what? How about we pause it here? Uh, I think I'm in a good place here. And hey, yeah, I'm back. Did that not kill him? For real? Also... They still don't know where I am. I've been blowing their heads off from the inside of this building for like three minutes. I've been stepping out, getting a little peek, you know, getting a little look at that brass ring, little look of violence, and then stepping back in. I'm amazed you didn't take any health damage there, Snow White. Oh, he's up, is he? See, there's just there's a shitload of guys in here. That was a very DMX esque what, I think. Oop, screen's chugging again. I'm amazed that this is a stealth mission, like in the traditional sense, because like how the fuck could they hear anything? Like how how can you how can you stealth this, you know? Oh yeah, there's that man, is there? The large one. The tiger appears to have already been locked down pretty hard, so. And no one is any the wiser, naturally, naturally. Oh yeah, I'm full. Nice. Come back for you then at some point. Probably. I think that guy feels bad for himself because like Voss is not giving him the equipment that he needs. Oh, come on. All right. Like, that guy's still in his fucking t-shirt. Like, everyone else in the unit has, like, piratey armor, you know?
Did that get both of them? Tiger, go. Nothing, dude. They're just, like, force-feeding me these uh, health packs. Get them. Get them, yeah! Oh man, it's really chugging along here, everyone. I don't know how well that shows up on the recording, but... Yeah, that's a lot of chug. I've got a couple of these things, so I may as well just start throwing them down, right? Oh, and I've done that thing where I trap myself again. I love that. I love when I do that. Oh, man. The frame rate shit's really dangerous, actually. Oh boy. Now run, Jason. It's four, I think? Yeah, it is. Very good. The dubstep has stopped, which means that I can stop killing people. Which is also how my 2012 went. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, laptop. You're only like six months old. Now granted, I have filled up this hard drive coming up on like eight times. Boss! But you Boss, know, still. Where are you? Come out and face me. He's still a motherfucker. <laughs> I love how it glows like magic somehow. So now we're either going into another magic realm or um, another like drug state in which we'll kill a boss. As you do, as you do, you know? You know, Voss only really started to get in on the like whole TV aesthetic, like this mission. Oh, I can play. And walk very slowly. See, these are those things that I think we saw before. I am the balancing point. Nope, those are boobs. Hold on, one second, boss. Just want to turn that up. Make a warrior out of you. You're so fucked, Jason. Pull the trigger. Come on, motherfucker. Pull the trigger. Let's go shoot me. Let's go shoot me. Shoot me. You. You. Me. Me. So at some point, uh. At some point, that cutscene just ends. I didn't actually click there. And yet you can see that uh, Voss is just... It's just Voss's model on the AI of the Machete Man. Can I just ignore them? I absolutely can. It's faster, in fact. Take me into your heart! And just be a 
Subtle. It's a cool move, I'll say. So yeah, boss is dead, so the game's over, right? No, the rest of the game's about fighting Hoyt. Uh, a lot of people are unconvinced that boss is actually dead. Considering that this happens in a cutscene that is questionably canonical, based on the whole thing with the, uh... You know, on drugs and stuff. Oh, man. Sake. This fucking Alice in Wonderland shit makes me so mad. It's never our place with the answer with the back and front, sorry. I think I talked about this earlier in this uh, very show. Ugh. But yeah, you'd think that, like, considering that he's the guy who killed your brothers, in Grant's case, personally. Oh, thank God she has her shirt on. Enjoy your victory. She's gonna make a warrior out of you. You are so fucked, Jason. Vas is dead. See, all we have is that drug cutscene and her word on whether or not Vas is actually dead. And, like, he stops showing up in this game. Just, you know, typically that happens when you die. You know, you stop going places and seeing things. He left me. The tribe, his birthright. Hoyt Volker lured him away with money. Drugs. He became a monster, but he was still my brother. Hoyt will pay for what he has done. To you and to my brothers. I Why didn't you say to you both of our brothers? Head. That was more concise and cooler. What of your friends? I don't care. We'll take a boat back. I'm staying with you. I'm pleased to hear that. How will you kill Hoyt? I met a spy named Willis who can sneak me onto Hoyt's island. Clever. The racket will miss you not being here. Oh, will they? Return to me. To my people. Soon. Right. Where the hell are we? We're back at the temple. See, Avas has his own little island up here. And Citra is on the south side of the North Island. And this is the real temple. All that other shit, that's the fake temple. This is the actual temple. See, so, oh yeah, I don't think I've been cashing these in, have I? Wait, hold on. I got more of these now, don't I? I'll take out my tap shoes. Nice. Yeah, now that I've locked tier 3 of uh, uh, upgrades, I actually have to pay attention to what I put my points into. Because I've unlocked shit that I actually care about. So you Dennis, what's up, man? Jason, <laughs> you're leaving so soon. Dennis, I... <laughs> you're busy working with Citra?
This subtitling shit is still super we are annoying. We're not gonna like each other, you and I. I was once an immigrant to the United States. Mm -hmm. I worked as a mechanic in a garage. Tried to make fun of my accent, the owner. He tried to pay me less than the other mechanics. They were not as skilled. Mm. I was raised among the, the generals of Liberia. They tried to treat me less than them. But I know who I am. Look at me now. Sitra. She has freed me. She is with me. <laughs> Good luck on your fortune. I mean, your mission is... Yes. This battle is empty. I need another one. Please. So um he's starting to he's starting to slip a little bit here. Uh cuz part of this he was Citra's favorite, you know? Like they were all like, "Oh shit. You know, you're the you're the warrior and stuff, you know? You're that you're that outlander cool warrior guy, man." But now that's uh that's not so much the case. Because now she's got Jason to play with, you know? And Voss, you know, not in as many words, tries to tell us that Citra's gonna use us and be done with us. And implies that that might have been what happened to him. Now granted, that's his word we're working on there, you know? We have no idea if Voss is right about anything, ever. You know? Whoops. But Voss implies that Citra will use us and then throw us away and implies that that's actually what she did to him. Which, you know, isn't clear. As I say. Um... However, something did happen to make Voss that fucked up. And everyone else blames it on Ho uh, Hoyt Volker. But they have reasons to not want to implicate Citra. Because it would make Jason not trust Citra. Citra doesn't want to blame herself for it. And Dennis doesn't want to blame Citra because he thinks that she's great. Really well hidden there, guys. Twenty-seven. I'm almost a fourth of the way done. Gosh, man. Yeah, so like... If, if the deal is that Jason is the one, like... Jason could just be another pawn here, you know? It could be a case where like... Nah, man. Citra is the corrupter here, you know? She made Dennis into her puppet and tossed him aside when she was done. Like, she made Boston her puppet and Hoyt got to him before she could be done with him. And now she's working on Jason. But this is all just hearsay. I don't know exactly what happened to Boss. Mostly because I don't remember. Oh, I hear the music. Hello? 
Oh god. Swim up, Jason. So it's a little north. Container. There it is. I, I missed this thing earlier. There you go, Jason. There you go. All right. I'm two away from being a fourth of the way there. I'll grab this relic, and then I guess I'll quick travel back to... Oh, it's a shark. It's a shark. I guess I'll quick travel to the cave. Um, I don't care too, too much about my friends, as I've mentioned, but, like... Okay, game says I gotta, so I will. But now it's coming to the point where it's like, you and Jason might agree on this. Because Jason also is starting to not care about his friends. Like, he doesn't care about his friends, he doesn't care about the old world. What he cares about is revenge. And he's gotten his revenge against Voss, but he's gonna take it to the top, you know? He wants to see Voss's manager, if you will. This might not be one of those things. Some of these you require uh, the ability to fly to get into them. I don't know if this is the case. Might also be an underwater cave. Yeah, it's pretty wet in there. Well, let's see if we can't... Get on up. Hmm. Not seen it. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, let's just swim through shark infested waters. Nothing bad will come of this. I guarantee it. Yeah? We'll hit this dune buggy, and then, um, you know, I might actually hit that cutscene next time. I do this a lot where I'm like, yeah, I'll definitely do this. Where am I at here? Okay. 25 out of 38 missions. Ooh, we're getting pretty close. Uh, the rest of the radio towers on the other island. The rest of the outposts on the other island. These relics, man. I don't know where the letters all are. I think the memory cards are on the other island. I think the trials are. I don't know why the story quests are here. Well, let's party then. You can see again, presumably signal flares that are being dropped from helicopters. I don't know how they're dropped into a cave. Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me, sorry. We should exchange insurance information. Not now, later. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, come on, Daisy. You know this. You know how to drive, I assume. Is that the red? It's purple. How about the next one? Is that red? It's purple, too. See, was that little dude. There it is, there it is. Make it, Jason. Hell yeah. All right. Um, that's a pretty good stopping point. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut the episode here. Thank you guys for coming by. I've been Alfred. This has been uh, Cryfear 3. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.